Hey Infinity Crafters, Jen here, and today I'm going to be showcasing our Ulta New line that we just got in a few months ago. I love these stamps, I love these dies, they are so cute. We've got in a few creativity kits, and today I'm taking some of the creativity kits and coming up with these cute little happy birthday cards. I'm going to start with the cupcake one, and these cupcakes are from the Layered Cupcake Stamp Set. And it comes with quite a few things. So you have a couple different liners, a few different frosting tops, a cute little sentiment, some little dots. And it comes with the layered cupcake die that we'll be using. So I'm gonna stamp it and then we're gonna die cut it out. And it also came with the frame die. So it has this frame die and I just cut out different colors and played around with different colors. It's all up to you how you like it. So I just have my piece of paper here and I'm gonna start with the outline stamp of the cupcake and I'm gonna be using the Alta New Sand Dunes as the outline because I liked that it kind of just blended into the background so you didn't actually see the outline once it's all complete. So just ink that up a little bit. Stamp it down. And you can see it's kind of light but it's just kind of for reference when we do our other colors. And I'm gonna start with the solid liner that comes in the pack and I'm gonna ink it up with the lightest green color. This one is called Mountain Mist. Ink that up here. And the trick is to get it on here is this cupcake has these triangles at the top in the liner and that's where I look to press it down to try to get a nice clean edge on there and just kind of firmly press down and you can see that by lining the triangles up at the top I kind of got the image exactly how I wanted on there and then there is a second liner on there and I'm going to be using um, the middle color out of the dies that came with this creativity kit. And this one's called Puffy Heart. So I'm just going to ink this one up and this one's just kind of the lines on the liner, the cupcake liner. And then same kind of thing, I'm just looking for the triangles at the top before I place it down so I know where to put it. Press that down and we have two different colors of the cupcake liner and then the next part I'm going to do is the cupcake part and I'm going to use the Alta New Espresso and same thing I'm still finding those triangles on there Make it look like a chocolate cupcake. And then the frosting. So the solid liner of the frosting, I'm gonna be using the lightest color of green. I'm making the frosting two-toned because that's how I like my frosting is to be pretty in different colors. So I'm gonna start with the light green. line it up the best you can on there and lay it down and then the second one I'm gonna be using the middle pink one which is the puffy hearts And this one I just kind of, you can see the, my outline of the swirls and so I'm just going right where the same outline is. And get that one. And then the last frosting I'm going to do the purple line which is the darkest pink color that came with it. So I just went from light to middle to dark. 
this is just a little bit of an accent, so it's not that much of an same thing. I just follow the swirls. So now we have dimension in our frosting, we have dimension in our cupcake liner, and then it comes with the die. So I'm going to go to our big shot machine here, move the pad out of the way first, bring our big shot machine over, and set it on here. And it is magnetic tray, so it's kind of nice that so we can get that image right in there how it should be. Through and all the way to the back. Sorry if the camera's shaking. So then we're gonna bring it out and then cut it out and you get your image for the card. And I just made two of them, stuck them on there. You can do different colors, play around with the colors. So I, like I said I, earlier, I used the frames, I cut out the frames. I just used different dots that we had in the stamp to do the different colors in the background. And then for the balloons, it's kind of similar. So it, I, it came with a balloon die, and I already cut one out. Same thing, I ran it through the Big Shot, cut it out, and I'm just going to use the light pink, which is the rose quartz, and my blender brush, and I'm just going to put, put it on here. Ink it up. And you can use any colors you want, but I like I like pink. It's my favorite. So it's kind of my go-to. And then I'm gonna use the two different greens, the lagoon and the volcano lake. And I'm gonna pick one color for the small circle, and I'm gonna just ink up the small circle a little and then just put dots kind of all over, random, kind of off. They don't have to be perfect on there. Just kind of all over. And then I will use, I have both dots on my one stamp block. So then I'll just go to the other corner, ink that one up and kind of just do the same thing. Then you have the balloons. On mine, I just made quite a few different colors, different dots. And I do have a happy birthday die that I just ran through the big shot and got that. And then in the corners, it came with these cute little enamel dots that I just stuck in the corner. I added rope, little strings around my balloons, and tucked them down to the happy birthday. And that's it for those two cards. So make sure you check out our website at infinicrafts.ca and come into our store to check out all the new Altalide we have and we'll see you next time.